how to record the audio from the DJ's mixer and also to record it simultaneously into your camera and monitor your audio levels. It's pretty simple and I'll tell you how right now. So guys, let's start with the hardware. This is the Ceremonic SR-AX100. It's a simple mixture for two channels. As you can see, we have here the left channel, the stereo input and the right channel and also the output. And also if we turn this like so, we have our left and right gain knobs and the mono or stereo switcher. Also we have here the thread for mounting to somewhere like a stand and also we have here the traditional cold shoe mounts and three more cold shoe mounts all over this mixture. It's a pretty cheap one, I guess I bought it for around $20, so it's a great addition to anybody's kit to split your audio signals. So how can you get the signal from the mixture through the recorder and then to your camera straight to one of the channels? I'm gonna tell you how. So guys, how to set up this system? This thing has no batteries, so it doesn't need a battery, but it cannot provide power to your microphone. That is why you will have to use the microphone with the battery inside, like this Rode video mic, because if it doesn't have a battery, it won't work at all. First of all, we mount it straight onto our cold shoe mount of the camera. This is the Sony a6300. It doesn't have the headphone jack, but guys, please use the camera with the headphone jack and use your headphones. These are from Sennheiser CX200, pretty cheap ones, but they are, you know, vacuum kind of headphones and you hear the sound better in such type of headphones. These are very cheap for like 15 bucks probably. Then you attach your microphone, for instance, to the right side. It has the built-in battery, that is why it will be working and we plug this into our left channel. Or maybe if it's on the right, you can plug it to your right channel. So it's right here, right channel, and turn this on. Otherwise, it won't work. This thing does not provide power once again. Then we use our receiver, which is right here from Sennheiser. I use the Sennheiser transmitter and receiver EW100G3 because it has better and more strong connection than for instance the Rode Wireless Go and the battery life is a little better and I can always have some spare batteries. Please guys have spare batteries for all of your devices, for your recorder, for your transmitter, receiver, for your microphone. This has a different battery by the way, not double A's. So these are great transmitters and they're used almost everywhere in film production, in TV shows, everywhere and they have a good connection. So we plug this into the cold shoe mount on this harmonic mixture and then we connect it to our mixture and we are putting it to the left channel. So left channel is here, okay. And also we need to plug in the out cable. These are the standard mini jack cables, two straps, black straps right here. They are used almost everywhere, or you can also name them AUX cables. So you plug this straight into your camera's microphone input and we're almost ready to go. So guys, as you can see on the levels of my camera, we have the right channel on. When I tap the microphone, you can hear it. I can dial the volume right here, the gain, as you can see but we don't have the left channel yet. This will be for our uh, wireless transmission from the mixture, the DJ's mixture. So let's find out how to use this one. And by the way, make sure that you set your ceremonic mixture to stereo signal, not to mono signal, because otherwise it won't work like we want it. So let's put the camera aside and let's use our recorder. So first of all, we need to plug in our cable. That's uh, once again, the standard cable and it splits to two big jack cables or some, I forgot the name, I'll write them <laughs> down right here. So most of the DJ's mixtures are having such connections. So you use one cable to plug this into your line in and the others to get the sound from the mix or from the microphones, whatever. So it's up to DJ to connect to their mixture. Then let me unplug this for a second. After plugging in, you take your headphones, you plug those into your line out or your headphone jack 
on this recorder or just to your headphone jack on the other recorder and you listen to the sound and carefully ask the DJ to raise up the gain or to lower the gain or you can use the input level right here. So check, 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 one, two, three. So now it's okay, I'm talking loudly and my decibel levels are at negative 12 probably. So this is the maximum amount of decibels that you're going to have, not to distort your audio, the distortion is at zero, but to have some 12 dBs of protection is a good thing because sometimes the hosts of the show can, you know, very loudly say something and you can distort your audio. So minus 12 dB is a great solution. So imagine that we have checked the levels while we were plugged into the mixture of the DJ. And then we take out our headphones, but we'll need those for something else. We turn on our transmitter, the Sennheiser, and we plug in the same cable. So the mini jack with two black strips on it. We plug this in and we plug it straight into the headphones out. It's a line out or headphones. So we plug this in and you adjust the gain by pressing down or up the volume rocker. So the volume right here is your line out signal. So the gain of your line out. And you check right here on the Sennheiser, for instance, let me turn this on. No, I don't wanna mute this. So you check this right here on the Sennheiser and you check it on your camera and you listen through the sound on your camera. So you plug in the headphones to the camera and you listen if you have some distortion because of the two, uh, you know, pre-amplified gain right here. So if your volume was set to 100, you would get a distorted audio, but you need to dial it carefully so it will be on minus 12 dBs also. And you can check this right here so it will be it's minus 12 right here and in your camera as well. But please be careful because it's very easy to crank up the audio level right here and to get some distortion. So after you have, um, you know, set everything up, you can plug in the headphones to your camera and monitor the audio. One ear will be for your left channel, which is the audio from the mixture, the DJ's mixture, and the other one will be from your Rode video mic with the built-in battery. Remember that, guys. And imagine that someone is talking like this to the microphone very loudly. So you can dial in the settings right here at your left channel, at your right channel. It's a pretty smooth transition. And then somebody is trying to talk like this, you, you know, <laughs> microphone is flying all over the place. You can adjust this thing or even use the second track in your NLE, in your editing software to take the sound from the shotgun microphone if they were talking without a microphone at all. So it's a great addition and you always kind of listen to it and you a little bit adjust the volume and the input level of your two microphones. Not the microphone exactly, but you got me. Now let's jump into the Final Cut Pro X and I'm gonna show you how to use this in post. So we'll start recording. So guys, here we have two fragments from the wedding. Actually, I've blurred out those because you don't wanna see the wedding itself. So if we select the clip right here or right here, it doesn't really matter. When you go to audio settings, you can see that we set it to dual mono signal. At first it was like this, the stereo signal, but when we set it to dual mono, it kind of splits the left and the right channels and you get two separate channels, but they are mixed together. So let's listen to the fragment right here. Let me turn on the volume. Like this, then we make it dual mono and we uncheck the first one. This is only from the DJ's mixer and this one. This one is from the Rode Video mic. So if you want, you can turn both on and you can select a separate one and dial in the volume right here. For instance, I don't want my Rode uh, microphone to be too loud. So this is uh, the dialog one here. So I dial it like minus 12 and then I can dial in the mixture part. Let it be plus, I don't know, plus three. So when we turn this on, 
we have a pretty clear audio, but when people were clapping, for instance, let me show you. You hear the claps right here. And the claps right here. The claps are different because one of those were recorded with the Rode video mic and the other ones with the microphone of the host and it was very, very quiet. So we can mix those together and have some, you know, louder applauses, applause, how do you say this? And uh, the clear audio. So what are the disadvantages? The first disadvantage is that you can sometimes get some interference while transmitting the signal but you always have a backup copy on your recorder so that is why it's not an issue because if you do have some issues with interference you can just use your recording straight from the recorder from your sd card plug this in sync the audio in post and clear this up or you can use some you know software changes so you can kind of work with the hiss a little bit and make it much better. The second disadvantage is that this system doesn't work without a separate microphone like this Rode video mic, because if you plug this into your camera, it will have only the left channel with the mixer uh, sound, but nothing in the right channel. So you'll definitely need a battery powered microphone on this side. And also the third disadvantage is that this construction is getting pretty bulky. It's hard to put on a gimbal, for instance. And the last disadvantage is that this system works only with one camera setup. If you want to have two cameras with such type of recording, you have to need a separate set of your transmitter and receiver, the audio things, and then you'll need to have one more a mixture and uh, two line outs so this thing has only one line out but if you have something like zoom h6 it has the headphones line out and the regular line out so you'll be able to use two cameras at once but i'm okay with using only one camera i shoot wedding receptions with only one camera and i just you know adjust the volume a little bit during the shooting then i come up to the software and just make it dual mono make the microphone sound a little bit quieter and the mixture sound a little bit louder then i adjust it a little bit in post and that's it it's just baked in and it's done and it's no synchronization, nothing else. So it's a great solution, guys. Also, if your camera doesn't have the headphones jack, you can use your on-camera monitor with the headphone jack, like the Atomos Ninja 5, and simply listen to the audio through the monitor. It's also an option. So guys, that's been it from me. I hope you've learned something new and you'll be using this technique or some kind of this technique in your shoots. This was Oleg Nikitin and No Limit Son. If you did enjoy the content, please smash the like and subscribe bottles as I say in my videos. Also, you can hit the notifications bell. I'll highly appreciate it, guys. And I see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.